Hey everybody, Escape211 here, and we are on the test server here once again. This time we are running the Minigun 6, the lowest one, with the Lancer here. Again, I'm using Case and uh, the basic implants for uh, this weapon specifically. I'll put it up on screen again. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is obviously the lowest of the, the three, all right? So not anything too special. Um, and obviously the immediate thought is either as a sidearm or like with a light uh, mech here. Um, so that's why I'm using it, man. I'm getting all the disc launcher shots on me. Um, so I'm trying to play cautiously one where like my spray kind of goes over where my line of sight is. Um, so hopefully enemies are not seeing me, but I can actually register some shots. It's, it's honestly not great. Uh, of course, right? It's a six energy weapon. So to expect it to be that good against top level bots is crazy. Uh, it does have so much sustain though, that you can actually get some kills and, I've actually been in that way impressed, but it's unrealistic when thinking about uh, unrealistic when thinking about it like for top end play. Now, I don't know how they plan to introduce this weapon. I also don't know, um, you know, what stage everyone is going to be in the game. So if you're earlier in the game and you do have need of six energy weapons, this isn't bad. Um, you know, this is this is like if you have the option between this and like a Pulse Cannon Six, this is obviously way better. But um, I don't know if I'd say it's necessarily better than Missile Rack 6 or Arc 6. Uh, in some ways, yes. In other ways, not so much. Um, you know, I guess it depends on how you plan to play. It's certainly not a bad weapon for early game, so it's not a bad one. I, I just don't know if I'd say, like, it's more ideal than some other options early game. Because I, I would think early game, you're probably going to be offered a lot of things for, like, 2 to $5. That's usually the range where they give you, like, these quick deals of things at 2 and 3 stars. Um, and I don't know if I'd say this one is the best one to pick, right? If you can get like two or three star Zephyrs or Surges, those are way better than getting this. If you can get an early game Arc 10 that you can pair with a six, that's probably going to do better than dual this weapon, um, even though it, it probably is cheaper in the sense of upgrading only one weapon pair. Um, so I, I don't know. I do think that there's a limited use window for this weapon. Um, obviously I'm, I'm playing with Lancer and it's against bots. So they're, you know, even though they will focus on me, I'm far enough away that they're not and high enough. I think that I'm just not, you know, being picked on as much, which is kind of nice in a sense with Lancer for sustained fire. But, you know, it's similar. You could do that with Shadow and be a little bit more, um, in the, in combat. Um, and probably Tengu. I, I did try this with Tengu. It's not too bad. Uh, but it's also not exactly, I think the most ideal. Uh, but again, it, it's hard because I'm against max bots, and I don't really think that this is. Nobody would be using this for endgame, in my, you know, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing. Um, at best, as a sidearm to like a, a different weapon, but I don't know what you'd pair it with because we only have a minigun eight, six, and twelve. So on a on a light mech, maybe, uh, you know, with a carbine ten or something. I don't know. So I, you know, when you're thinking about this in terms of end game, not a whole lot of usage. Um, and if you were to buy it early, you're not going to have like the implants, like the legendary ones, unless you buy those two, which again is a larger investment for a six energy limited time weapon. That's not even one of the best ones out of the six energy weapons, in my opinion, um, in terms of where you're going to be in combat on, on a typical situation. Um, with the Lancer here, I was able to do this, but... This is, this is kind of an end game Lancer, you know, so also not exactly practical for the early game. But that's just my overall thinking with this weapon. Um, nice for completing the set. Uh, not really something that I think is important for anyone to get. Uh, definitely the least important. 12 is going to be the one that will actually have the best end game potential. Pretty straightforward there. But you guys can let me know what you think of this weapon and the overall set that we have of the miniguns. And we will see you out there on the battlefield.